Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. Determine the magnitude of the pull exerted on the nail if a horizontal force of 200 Newton is applied to a handle of nail puller as shown. Alright, let us try to understand this entire arrangement. So we have a nail over here which is supposed to be pulled with the help of this nail puller. And at point C of this nail puller, uh, force in the form of 200 Newton magnitude has been applied in the right hand side direction. Now to go ahead, this nail puller is in contact with this surface at point B and hence this surface is going to offer a reaction in the form of say RB. All right. To go ahead, you can clearly see that there is an axis of this nail. Okay. And uh, when this force of 200 Newton is applied, the nail is definitely going to experience a force somewhere along this direction. Okay. Let us see the name of this force is RA. All right. But the nail does not come outside. Okay. The nail is not driven outside. The nail is going to resist this by offering an equal amount of force, but in the opposite direction. And hence these two forces are going to be equal to RA. Now this red colored force is on the nail because of this nail puller and this green colored force is on the nail puller because of the nail all right and this can further be divided into components it's going to be equal to ra cos 20 and ra sin 20 obviously the angle over here shall be equal to 20 degrees all right what we want is we want the magnitude of the pull exerted we want ra okay so how can that be carried out let's see okay guys what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the moment of all the forces about point b and right now we're going to be analyzing the nail puller now to go ahead, what I'm going to be doing is let me take the moment. All the forces about point B is equal to zero. So we have two forces into consideration. One is this one that is F is equal to 200. You can clearly see that uh, it is in the right hand side direction. If I can do a little construction over here. Okay. So this is the line of action of force F 200 Newtons. And if you were to drop a perpendicular from point B, uh, it would be this one. Okay. Okay. This one. Now this distance, this is what you call the perpendicular distance is equal to how much? This is equal to 24 centimeters. What I need to do is force 200 multiplied by this perpendicular distance 24. So let me write this um, 200 multiplied by 24. So what is the nature of this force? It produces a clockwise moment. Why? Keep your right thumb over here and try to move your baby finger along this direction. You'll realize that it produces a clockwise moment and hence has to be taken as negative what else so you, you can watch very carefully this r a sine 20 force and this r b force both of them are passing through this point b and point b actually is that point about which the moment is supposed to be taken okay and hence these two forces are gonna have zero moments all right because you cannot drop a perpendicular on these two forces that's why so the only force remaining is r a cos 20 now if you keep your thumb over here and try to move your baby finger along this direction you'll realize that this force r a cos 20 produces an anti-clockwise moment and hence a positive sign. Name of the force is obviously Ra cos 20. And if you watch carefully, this particular force, this is the force and this is going to be the perpendicular distance. Please watch where the mouse is hovering. This small distance you see, okay, from here to here, so this small distance, this is the perpendicular distance, which is equal to three centimeters multiplied by three shall be equal to zero. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be equating Ra equal to 200 cross 24 divided by cos 20 multiplied by 3. You just need to do this calculation and you're going to get the value of Ra equal to 1702.68 Newtons. That's it guys. That's all. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you like the content and presentation in this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll see you again with a new problem. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.